Hello friends, uh, this is Himanshu and I welcome you back to my channel. Okay, so uh, well in this video I'm gonna talk about how you can log into a single sign-on application on Selenium Grid. Okay, so before I provide you the solution, let me first explain the problem. Okay, let's assume that uh, I have an application which I want to automate and uh, let's say that the application is fake.com okay i'm not getting any other name so let's take it just an example okay so i i have to automate this application and this application is a single sign-on application okay or sso in short so uh, a single sign-on means that uh, i uh, i don't need to provide the user credentials to this website because this website will automatically automatically pick the user credentials from my my system i don't need to provide the credentials it won't even show the login screen to me okay so i have my computer system and uh, i have automated few test cases running fine everything is okay so the, but the problem is when i have to run the test cases on selenium grid so let me quickly create a selenium grid as well okay this is my selenium grid and you know that in selenium grid what all we have we have a hub okay and then we have nodes connected to it node 1 node 2 node 3 now uh, now here uh, these machines uh, this this infrastructure may be created by somebody who doesn't have the access on uh, fake.com it's quite possible right so maybe like uh, this hub machine is created by a user user a okay and this node is created by user b possible right this node is created by user c okay and this node is created by user D possible right or maybe all these uh, nodes and hub is configured by uh, user uh, F okay and this user doesn't have the access on fake.com then what will happen I'm gonna I'm going to run my test cases on selenium grade then what will happen this request will first go to hub right then hub uh, which is more or less like a load balancer you know that right so this uh, this hub will check which machine is relatively free uh, let's uh, take the take this case that uh, node one is free it is not executing any test cases test case right now so the request will go to this machine and now who is actually logged into this machine or of, by which user this node service is running it is running by uh, by user b and this user does not have the access on fake.com correct then what will happen it will throw me the exception right that you don't have the sufficient privileges i cannot allow you to log into this application or any any other error message which which is set up by the developer okay now how how to handle this kind of scenario now the, now the solution is that uh, we have to hack the request which is going to uh, going to selenium grade right we have to hack this request and okay we have to hack this request and we have to inject our application username and the password in this request right and password okay sorry for bad handwriting okay so oh, oh, so this is what uh, this is the solution which i'm going to talk about in my in my in my code so um, i didn't take you directly to the code but i wanted you to understand the problem and what is the solution right so here is a problem that uh, if you want to run the test cases directly on selenium grid and application is single sign on that's a problem we cannot do that yeah right uh, one solution is that we can give uh, give access to uh, access to all the users right user a b c d and a right 
we can give access to all the users to our application that is one solution but uh, there is a there is a downside of this as well that uh, when you create when you have created some test data with your own username right uh, that screen uh, that test data won't be available for user b c d and a right so that is not the actual solution so we, we, we i'm going to talk about the actual solution now okay so, so the actual solution is that we have to hack this request going to the uh, going to the selenium hub inject our username and the password in that request and send it to hub all right and then hub will uh, launch the browser with with these credentials okay so that uh, so that or whatever experience you are getting on your local system you will get the same experience i mean same user credentials will be applied when in the browser will open on any of the node okay so let me take you to my visual studio and explain the further code okay and now i'm in my visual studio and let me explain you that uh, how you can log into your single sign-on application on Selenium Grid. Okay, so uh, so first of all, uh, I have mentioned uh, these steps in regions so that it's easy for you to understand. First, you have to open your Chrome browser or Edge browser or whatever browser you are planning to automate in private or incognito mode so that it doesn't pick any existing credentials from the machine. Okay, this is important and for that it's pretty simple uh, just uh, create the Chrome option object add these arguments in cognitors no sandbox and disable pop-up blocking these are optional but if you want you can take it but this one is uh, this one is the most important one so that uh, your, your browser is opening up without picking up any credentials uh, from the machine okay so now next step is that open browser on local machine or on selenium grid uh, and for that here is the code I, i'm gonna put all these uh, this code in the description you can simply copy it from there and uh, i'll also try to put it on my github repository you can copy it from there as well and i'll provide the url in the description okay okay so the next step is uh, you have to create the object of your remote web driver and here you have to provide the uh, grid url which contains your grid ip um, uh, grid machine ip its port okay then for, uh, forward slash wd hub and then you can maximize the browser if you want this is something which is good you should always maximize or have a desired capability to launch Chrome always in maximize mode. Okay, so then uh, the next step is capture the network request and in, inject your SSO enabled you. Uh, uh, sorry, your SSO enabled application URL and application credentials in it. Okay, now this is something which is important. So just need to copy the copy the code exactly the way I'm doing. Okay, and and uh, here you have to provide your application uh, application domain okay application host okay here you have to provide uh, in my example i talked about fake.com right so here it will go like this uh, let me remove this it is gonna be fake.com right don't get confused it's it is gonna be fake.com and then just just follow the rest of the things as it is don't need to worry about anything then uh, your application credentials will go over here if you have any domain uh, let's take uh, let me do one thing let me remove this so that it's easy for you so so let's say that my domain is uh, uh, my domain then then my user id is uh, my user id this is my user id let me 001 this is my user id and then you have to provide your password so whatever your password is uh, so, uh, okay uh, my secret password 001 okay this is my password right so now you have to you have to write uh, all the code the way i have written uh, okay then after that you have to log into your application and you have to provide the application url along with 
this this is important okay basic authentication this is what you have to provide okay so whatever is your application URL just mention that and then in the end you have to add this additional stuff okay basic authentication so what is it is gonna do it will pick the basic authentication which is provided here in the network authentication handler okay and provide it in the URL and then it will log in okay rest of the code is simple you can then click on the X path here it will go it will uh, you it will it is gonna be your X path okay you can click uh, on uh, you can click on the on the object sorry for that background noise uh, well uh, that's all about uh, this particular video and I hope you like this video and uh, uh, do let me know if you want any additional detail okay thanks for watching have a nice day